Righto, so today is the end of my free BSD challenge. For the past week, I have used nothing but free BSD. And today I'm going to give my conclusions and tell you how that experience was. Right now on the Linux Lounge. So to break down my experience of using BSD, I'm going to talk about the things that are currently good, the things that are currently bad, and the things that are currently complicated. So first let's start off with the good. The best thing about BSD that I found during these seven days is that I can do everything I need to do on it with absolutely no issue. At no point in the course of carrying out my essential tasks have I missed Linux. In fact, going further than that, I actually find it incredibly impressive that I was able to create videos for this channel and engage in my hobbies on BSD with no issue and without missing Linux all that much at all. In fact, in many ways, I like BSD a lot better than Linux. It's definitely true what people say about BSD being cleaner and a more stable system. I haven't had any problems with BSD the whole time I've been using it, as well as that the system is generally stable. Stable. I haven't had a single crash the whole time I've been using it, so I see reliability as being a great thing about BSD. As well as being stable, I've noticed that BSD performs really well too. It might be placebo, but I'm sure that it performs better than Linux. Another thing that's quite neat about BSD is the software repository. The sheer amount of programs available in the free BSD repositories is amazing in a word. There are all of the popular programs that I use on a daily basis and they're all available, but there are also a lot of smaller and more obscure programs that I like to use as well. Honestly, I think the default BSD repositories might be among the best software repositories I've ever seen. There are a lot of programs available to you, and the ones that you can get are fully up to date most of the time, so all in all I consider the experience of getting software on BSD to be fantastic and actually probably better than most Linux distributions. Another thing that's great about BSD is the hardware support. It's nowhere near as good as Linux, however I think it's by far the best hardware support I've seen in a Linux alternative. Compare it to something like Haiku and it's incredibly impressive just how much of my hardware it's able to enable and it works incredibly well too. Another thing that I'm quite fond of with BSD is the license. I know it's not something that everyone will care about and I know some people don't like the BSD license but there is something to be said about how good it is. It's incredibly simple and has between 0 and 4 clauses depending on which version of the license you go with. Compare that to the much larger and potentially more ambiguous GPL license and it's clear to see why a lot of people like the BSD license. As well as that, the BSD license is far less constraining in the things that it allows. You could pretty much do whatever you want with a BSD licensed piece of software as long as you give the appropriate credit. The same can't be said for the GPL license. Now, don't get me wrong, I still very much love the GNU general public license and I think it has its place and I'm glad that it exists, but I can absolutely see why people like the BSD license. Now we've talked about the things I find to be good about BSD, let's talk about the things that I find to be not so good. The first bad thing that I have to say about BSD is that sadly a lot of software just isn't available. For my use case, the things that I've missed most were a few more obscure FOSS programs that haven't been built for BSD, a handful of proprietary programs that don't have BSD versions, and of course, video games. Now, most of these programs I was able to find replacements for, but when it comes to video games and stuff like that, there really is no replacement, sadly. Which is kind of a shame, even though I'm not a huge gamer, I do like to play some video games from time to time. Another thing that I found to be a bit of a problem is that sometimes hardware support can be a bit wonky or just not there at all. So for instance, the first few days the issues I was having with my hard drive and USB drives almost made me quit this challenge. But over the following days I did get used to it and I found it wasn't that big of a deal. The other issue that got me down a bit is that my PS4 controller didn't work. I do like to use that for a few games here and there. I don't think my webcam works either, but I didn't really try to use it over this week as I just didn't need it, but that might have posed a problem in the future too. I really do think that the hardware support on BSD is excellent, but it's really the little things that won't work, which to some people can be a deal breaker. However, to other people, it can be no big deal really. And that brings us on to our last category, the stuff that's currently complicated on BSD. And for that, I think I'd have to mention all the stuff that kind of works, but not quite. You can use Windows programs in Wine, sure, but the compatibility isn't on par with Linux, sadly, and 64-bit programs just aren't happening. As well as that, sure, you can manage your system fairly easily, but you'll probably have to use a terminal and seek out documentation to do it. The programs that are available to make system management easier on Linux just sadly aren't available on BSD yet. 
As I said also earlier, there's quite a lot of little hardware issues that you might experience, making a lot of the BSD experience what I would say currently complicated, sadly. So with all of that said, what's my conclusion? Well, my conclusion is I very much enjoyed using BSD this week. BSD is a very impressive operating system, and to many tech-savvy users, myself included, it's a very compelling alternative to Linux. For the most part, it's a very rock-solid system that's incredibly polished and has great software support and a helpful community. There are a few programs missing from BSD that I would like to have, but I think I can easily get everything I want to do done on BSD. In fact, in many respects, I like BSD a lot better than Linux. Now that's not to say Linux is bad, I like Linux a lot, but BSD is also very good too. I really do think it's a cleaner and more stable system. But there are lots of things about BSD that I don't like so much. The lack of hardware and software support at times is oftentimes a problem, and the little issues do bug me a little bit. As well as that, there's a few programs that I do miss from Linux, but I think I can probably do without them. And like I said, I can definitely do everything that I want to do in BSD. So that leaves the final question. Will I be sticking with BSD or will I be switching back to Linux? The answer is, honestly, I don't know. BSD is an amazing operating system and I want to use it without a doubt, but honestly, I feel like eventually I'm going to run into something that'll definitely compel me to switch back to Linux. What I will say is this though, even if I do switch back, BSD is definitely going to be in my life in some form or fashion from now on. It's really just a question of how much. And another thing is for certain, even if I don't become a full-time BSD user here and now, at some point in the future, once BSD is developed a little bit, I absolutely will be one because BSD is a fantastic OS, even though it maybe has a little bit of a ways to go before becoming a viable option to most people. But with that said, I hope you've enjoyed the past seven days of this challenge, and I will see you again soon for more Linux Lounge videos. Thanks for watching.